Okay. Okay, and then what? Part 510? Um, <laughs> listen. Yeah. Okay, so did you, do you have a candidate in every writing? Mm, my deadline is September the 7th, 2 p.m. I consider that my deadline right now. How many you got no. so far? Possibility of... Okay, listen, I've got the most amazing team. Unbelievable team. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's balanced in every way except one, and right now that for me is a fatal flaw. We have Jim Wollstenholme, the former Assistant Deputy Minister of Health. We have Roy McMullen, a very well-known uh, journalist in New Brunswick. We have Margaret Tuss King, an elected councillor. Vernon Wolseley, an elected councillor. Elected council. Patty Higgins, the only woman elected in St. John. Janice Harvey. We Pat, got Pat Higgins? Patty Higgins, yeah. What, she's running for green? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yes. She's a counselor. Yeah, she's a counselor in St. John. How come I never hear? Oh, I gotta, I gotta start reading the the Irving paper. Okay. <laughs> really, Patty, Patty Higgins. You, you need to drop by more, huh? <laughs> but anyway, I've got, I've virtually got English New Brunswick wrapped up as far as I can give every English New Brunswicker so the opportunity to... So, you have a problem with the French? Oui, j'ai grand difficile avec le langue française et et and je comprends totalement parce que je, je sais qu'elle est importante, le chef parle et comprend totalement en français. Mon, mon demande est enseigne-moi. Oh. Invitez-moi chez vous dans ton cuisine. Aidez-moi et je vous aide. C'est pas pire, pas pire, ça, Jack. C'est pas pire, c'est meilleur que David Albert et uh, Sean Graham <laughs> ensemble. Je ne sais la pas. pratique, c'est parfait. C'est pratiquer, pratiquer le français. Pratiquer, pratiquer, pratiquer. Right. Euh, Parler chiac, half uh, English, half uh, uh, French. Chiac, yeah, oui, oui. Uh. <laughs> so, the bottom line, you had trouble with the but, French. But, but we've done everything. Everything we wrote, every word we did in both languages. We, We've done everything to reach out. I've been to Edmonston and to uh, Dalhousie and Campbellton and Saint Quentin and Bathurst and everywhere that I could be. But it's like, I, 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 first of all, my difficulty with the language is, uh, is, uh, uh, well, I mean, it's, on, it's huge. I mean, uh, it's McDougal, huge. McDougal, there's not too much pressure. I grew up in St. John. Know, know, like, yeah, I don't care how much you study. I studied it basically. I. Uh, had this stone program, Rosetta Stone, and it did a pretty good job of, you know, voici ma voiture bleue. You know, <laughs> it's mon car, mon car, mon car bleu. Yeah, mon mon car, car bleu, yeah. Car bleu. Anyway, I can do all sorts of things. If I want to order a sweet dessert, I think I know how to do it, but I don't know how to deliver a message. I, and I'm still struggling with that, and, and uh, I hope to at least have enough that I can break through, but the real message isn't about language. Here's what I fear. My objective as the leader always has been, and it will remain up until September the 7th at 2 p.m., my objective is to present every New Brunswicker with the opportunity to vote Green. That, look, I don't care if we get 1% of the vote or 3% of the vote. We're not putting up signs. We're not, we're going to hand out a brochure and have a website and, and uh, I'll continue to tell my message to anyone, anyone who will listen to it. And, and that is my hope. So I have two more weeks from tomorrow to meet the deadline and then the Green Party's campaign will truly begin in earnest. Um, I will release the platform. Uh, right now I would release it today but it's uh, in translation and we're, we hope to have that back here very very shortly. And then we'll tell the people everything but we've been spreading the message anyway you know uh, we haven't hit anything that's in the platform we've spoken virtually about everything I don't like to uh, kiss ass, but I don't kiss ass, you know that. Uh, of all the candidates, leaders I talk to, you're the best one that I like to to listen. You know, that you, can, you, you come up with the words and it's pretty damn good. What happens if you don't have 55 people, 55 uh, green in each writing and you're not allowed to be in, in a debate? Would you have a problem with that? Of course you will. If... Something told me you have to be in every writing, is that true? 
I don't know what the standards are. But for they me. allow you the CBC panel there. Yeah, they've there. Been, CBC has been very good, and so is the Telegraph Journal. I mean, they gave me a column. You can read it every Wednesday. I don't read the every paper. You mm -hmm. must, you must send it to me. Send me, send me a link. Okay. I don't. Yeah. So you should be in a debate. Once I send it off, I hardly ever read it because I, I see my mistakes and my common mistakes and. Things like oh that. Oh my God! You don't read my blog, then my my grammar is yeah. terrible. Lots like that. Why, that, why that didn't I put that comma over there? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I put those mistakes in there for the teachers. So you sh you should be allowed in the debate. I I would like to be in the debate. You should. Oh, well, you'll have my back in a hundred hundred percent. I'd like to be in it. If I if I limped in with uh, five or ten or twenty candidates, I would say. I, I could understand the argument that if it's impossible for us to form a government, uh, then uh, I, I would accept that. I, I would argue for getting it. I would say, please. Yeah. But if they said no, I would have to say, I actually, as much as I want you to say yes, I, I can't disagree with you because I think it, it, the, if you end up having, um, well, right now it would possibly be five but I but on the other hand let's say um, uh, I do get all 55 and someone asked me to should we keep out the alliance because they only have maybe 20 or 25 candidates uh, I would say no keep them in I, you know but again it's the um, it's not my decision yeah. if I was the producer I might have I have a different agenda and I would look at it now yeah, so so yeah I'd say uh, Last point, do you have, uh, what do you think of fixed date election? I like it. Do you? Oh yeah, I do. The, but there's no excitement, Jack. No, there's no excitement. Last, uh, excuse me, in, in 06, Bernard Lord announced the election, media from Nova Scotia was at the government house, there was all excitement in the air. Well, now it's, uh, Well, no, know. we're just coming out of the su summer doldrums. Um, it was very, very strategic uh, uh, it, it, to uh, set it up the way it was set up. The fall of the fourth year is always the best for the incumbent, and it's always good if you can get away if, with at least one free week in a four-week campaign with nobody paying attention. So, uh, uh, you know, because it's up to the other guys to knock you off, not you to knock them off. So uh, there's a very uh, strategic, fair advantage to the government. Um, and, but the other thing is, what's been good about us is we haven't had to play head games with ourselves and say, do you think they'll call an election this week? Do you think they'll ever got to gear up? Every, you know, and everybody going high and low and high and low. With us, we've been just like a nice, steady pace, straight to the finish line is what I hope. So you plan to travel a lot? I'm going to do whatever I can do. How about in your writing? You plan to stay in your writing more to so get elected? We need the leader. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm going to do if 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 I don't have a place to go in a particular day, but if I need it, my my first priority is to my party and to representing our message. Uh, it really matters little about whether or not I get elected or not. I will try my best to get elected, but I, there's absolutely no way. I can devote the time to this riding uh, the way I would otherwise if I could just think about this riding and this riding alone. I'm also doubling up as the campaign manager. I'm, you know, I'm, and uh, I'm still in the candidate recruitment phase, and we're trying to raise money and we're trying to get the job done. But we know the jobs in front of us. We know what we want to get done. We know when we got to get them done by, and we're confident we will get them. Uh, everything done on time and if we do I think it will be uh, a preparation for presenting the people with a very viable and appealing alternative. Ten seconds, how's your health? Good. Good? Good. No stress? Uh, no. No? Well, no, I love this. I'm just, oh yeah, just, <laughs> you've been bored with this. Huh? Listen, we'll do this again Anytime. before before the election is all over. No I'll problem. never turn you down, and if I'm Premier, yeah. Charles LeBlanc, you are admitted to the press gallery. Okay, no problem. <laughs> that, you're going to make sure you're not, you're not that, re- That's a re promise <laughs> I'm going to keep. <laughs> that's a promise you're going to keep. There's not a chance in hell you'll be Premier. Okay, talk to you later.